Hi there, this is Animation Today. Let's talk about the brand new Lightroom CC. If you don't know what Lightroom CC is, it's a brand new software built straight up from the bottom by Adobe. It's not linked to the Lightroom that we used to use before. It's a completely newly built software. And what happened to the Lightroom that we used to use before? That has been renamed as Lightroom Classic CC. And this is Lightroom CC. In short, Lightroom CC is cloud-based Lightroom Classic CC is desktop based. Okay, makes sense? No? Check out the video right here by Adobe explaining the main differences between Lightroom CC, Lightroom Classic CC, and if you're using Lightroom 6, what will happen to that? That will expire anyway. So, though the software has a lot of mixed reactions, I believe this is a great start and it has some pretty good presets and the user interface is also very easy. Of course, it does need some advancements, but it's really cool. Let me show you some features of the same. So here we are in Lightroom CC and as you can see, it doesn't have any kind of module, develop module, library module. You don't have to hassle with any of that, but you just have all of the images straightly open. Now, these images are taken by Pasi Yaravenpa. He's an awesome, brilliant photographer. Check out his work right here. Now, you have nothing like that. You have this photo grid and you have this square grid like we used to have in Lightroom showing all of the image. So open up the photo grid or square grid and there's no develop module and this is the full screen view. If you click on that full screen view of the same. Now, if you want to edit it, just click on it and you'll be able to Edit light, color, effects, every slider has been categorized into these tabs. Now you have crop and all those healings which we'll talk about later. Let's talk about the presets first. It's really cool. So when you open it, you'll probably be in photo grid. All you have to do, just move to the detail grid or if you start editing, it automatically moves to the detail grid. You don't have to worry about that. If you want to change the background, it's also really simple. Right click in here and choose whatever background color you want. White, gray, light gray. For this, let's, let's stay at black. Okay. So first of all, let's crop it. Now, if you want to know shortcuts to all of them, just hover over it. I really love the interface. It will show you the shortcut. Crop and rotate. The shortcut is C. Edit the shortcut is E. Really simple. So I want to crop it press C. Opens up the crop. So you want to stay at the original aspect ratio. You don't want to change the aspect ratio and make sure it's locked. So you stay at the original aspect ratio, just like Lightroom, not much of a difference there. And you can crop it the way you like. Now, for example, I liked this way and we cropped it that way. Okay. Hit enter once you're satisfied. And there you go. Now let's look at some presets. No matter which editing module shall we call it no matter what you're in whether you're in the healing brush tool or the crop tool i don't know whether to call the module or anything just released two days ago there's something here called presets really really cool stuff just click on that stuff and it has got a pretty good amount of presets okay black and white presets components now i'll talk about components later first off let me give you a couple of tips up front. Before applying any presets, let me give you a couple of tips. Go to this three dots. Just click on this three dots and make sure show histogram is checked. Okay. Click on show histogram because that's not open by default. You should do it straight away when you open it for the first time. Show histogram is checked and also single panel mode is checked. What is single panel mode? Just click on it. I'll show you. If you open up light, and you're adjusting the exposure, contrast and stuff. It's very easy, just like Snapseed, okay? Doing all that kind of stuff. And then you open the color and adjust the vibrance, tint, temperature and all that stuff, optics, okay? At a time, if this is checked, if single panel mode is checked, at a time, only one panel will open. If I uncheck this, let me show you, it becomes a mess. If I open up light, then I color, then optics, it becomes a really bad mess. So make sure you click on it and have this checked so that at one time, one panel is open. If you open the another panel, the other panel, the first panel that you opened will be closed. At a time, just one panel. Now, let me show you the presets. Now they're color, creative, black and white and components. Components are really interesting. So first off, let's go ahead and try some color. And the best part here is before applying the preset, you can just hover over it and it will show you the preview of each of these. Isn't that wonderful? So for example, you like the mat, you clicked on it and maybe you want to make some adjustments. You went to the light, you 
uh, decrease the highlights even more and you did that. Now you want to reset the image, completely reset the image. There's no reset button. You have to press the shortcut shift R, okay, R for rat, okay, shift R to reset the image. Or there's another way, click on this three dots and I guess there is this revert to original, you can click on it to reset the image as well. The shortcut here is also control or command Z to go back. Okay, so we didn't like the matte effect, so we won't apply that. Let's apply some black and white effects. Let's go to black and white and some pretty good black and white effects right in there. Flat, soft, infrared, I kind of like infrared. Okay, let's apply say flat for this time. It's a really good effect. Now we'll click on it, it's applied. Now components are really cool. Open up components, let's close black and white, we don't need it. Now, you can apply cross process on top of this. After applying those flat stuff, you can apply cross processing on top of it. Then you can also apply some grain on top of this effect preset that you have applied. So components, think of components like this. They are component presets or part presets. They will adjust just one element of your image. For example, the curve, cross process, curve, flat, they will adjust just the curve, okay? The grain, they will adjust just the grain. The vignette will just adjust vignette. So they are part presets. For example, you have a car to paint and you say, just paint, for example, the back hood of the car. If there's a back hood, I don't know car parts, but you understand the idea. Just paint, for example, this door of the car. That's pretty much it. The whole presets right here paints the car completely. The components just paint parts of the car, okay? All right. So. After this, for example, I want to add some grain. So I will add a heavy grain like this there. I'll just click on it. The grain is now applied. Then I would like to add a medium vignette or maybe a heavy vignette. Let's go with the medium. There you go. Medium vignette is applied. And in just few seconds, this image is retouched. Now on top of that, you can always go ahead, close this preset and maybe decrease the shadows. If you want that kind of dramatic effect, I'll just go ahead and increase it a bit. And then you can just add a little light there. It's getting too dark. You can add some light by taking the brush. So here you have the brush, the shortcut to which is B, which was K in the previous Lightroom, which is now called Lightroom Classic CC. So select the brush, very simple, same as the previous one. Now you can just paint on that area. You can reset the whole of the tab by right clicking here and here actually, and reset all sliders. It will reset all the sliders. Then you can maybe increase the exposure and paint on this particular area, okay? You can also see the mask by pressing O, O for orange. See, which areas are you painting? Then you can paint nicely and erase the extra areas by holding the alter option, brush changes to minus, and then you can just erase the extra areas and then press O again to hide all of that. And then maybe we didn't need so much of an exposure. We needed shadows. So let's increase the shadows and maybe a tiny bit of exposure and just paint in a little bit of this area as well. And there you have it. It's too much, I guess. I'll just decrease it a bit and it's edited. Have a look at the before and after. To have a look at the before and after, you can press the backward slash key. So this is the before, this is the after. A lot of other effects you can apply. You can again go to presets and I guess you could have also applied something called the, let's just open that up, infrared. That also looks cool. And once you apply infrared, you might think, okay, we need a little more exposure. So let's go to exposure and then increase it a bit. Now we are just touching the exposure of the brush of just this area. So we will go to this, just click on the edit or press E and then increase the overall exposure like that. Now in this case too, if you want to zoom in, press Control and plus, okay? This zooms in, Control and plus again. And you can also go one is to one by clicking on in here and Control and minus to zoom out. Now hold the space bar and then you can move in like that. And when you hold the space bar, it kind of zooms in one is to one. When you leave the space bar, it zooms out again. So just move in, click and drag to move. Right now it's in fill. And we can also go ahead and clear this out. One is to one. Let's go one is to one and just move in quite a bit. 
and we can clear these things out. And once you're in, you can clear the blemishes by using the healing brush. It's also pretty damn easy. So let's select the healing brush. It looks like a band-aid. Just click on that and just dab once. Now there's an option to heal and clone. It's same as the Lightroom that we used to use or the current Lightroom Classic CC. Clone just simply copies and pastes. Heal calculates the surrounding areas, copies it, pastes it and try to merge it with the surrounding areas. So heal is like, a, like an intelligent copy paste. Think of it like that with merges with the surroundings. Just dab once and it will be taken care of. It should take care of that. Okay, it's gone. Now let's zoom out. Let's fill it. Let's fit it. Okay. And that's all there is. And I'll be coming out with more tutorials of the Lightroom CC very soon. And one of the disappointing things right now with me with this is that it doesn't have the tone curve. I need it so much. Even the mobile version of Lightroom CC, it has the tone curve. This doesn't have the tone curve. Actually, the mobile version has the tone curve right beside of light. You can just click on the tone curve. It opens up the curve above the image it's like an overlay. But this version, the desktop version of Lightroom CC doesn't just have it. It released two or three days ago. You cannot expect this to happen just right now, but it will come. I'm optimistic about this and I'll be coming out with more tutorials with the Lightroom CC. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this and if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss a thing. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.